I was really hoping to get into an exhaust wrap project that I had pretty much at the top of my list, but this had to take priority. Um, about a month ago, for some reason, my battery monitor started messing up on me. It's been telling me that I have zero power in my battery bank. I did find a couple things that were amiss with the system. Um, for starters, I had a uh, faulty breaker, which is kind of, it's not really breaking the way it should. You can see how this one does. You know, it's got a nice, it opens wide. It's got a nice click to it. So I replaced that and I noticed that on the uh, starter battery side, the line in, this line was loose and it actually pulled out as I was uh, sort of propping the, the battery bank up. But other than that, I, I didn't really find anything. I replaced the, uh, the positive feed to the shunt for the monitor. Um, but that didn't really need replacing. I just cleaned it up basically. Uh, I know it looks like kind of a mess in here, but this is the, the positive and the ground wires for my, the sub subwoofers up in my bench seat hanging up here. And then I got my RCA jacks and, and the remote wire for my, my amps. But, uh, yeah, I went through all this wiring and I don't see anything wrong. I, this is my my 12 volt out for my refrigerator. And this is my uh, NACO battery charger adapter. So I can plug my NACO charger in and, and charge the, the battery bank up separate from the starter battery in the front. But uh, yeah, the monitor's telling me that I have zero battery power, 0%. Uh, but if I come up here and hit my Bolt meter, I clearly have 12.8. So, I don't know. And another peculiar thing is I got up arrows, meaning uh, that this is indicating that I'm getting a charge. And this right here, this is the line that runs up to the starter battery. So the, uh, the bank is completely disconnected from the starter battery, from any other power source. There, there's nothing here that would be sending in a charge or pulling out a charge. I hope this thing isn't malfunctioning on me because it's wired exactly the way that it was when I first set it up and it worked just fine. Something else I noticed that made me kind of raise an eyebrow is uh, I found another YouTuber who was uh, doing a review of this monitor and he, showed how you can dim the screen. My monitor doesn't do what he was able to do with his. I don't know if it's, uh, if his was a later release that was, you know, reprogrammed or something, but what he did was push these left arrows and hold them down. And then that gave him an option to push the up arrow to make it brighter or push the down arrow to make it dimmer. And that doesn't work with mine. Mine, when you push the left arrows, that just turns the light on and off. Um, I don't know what to say. All I did was take, take some wires off and put them back on exactly where I took them off from. And uh, I plugged it back in and look what we got here. Back to normal. 100% battery power, or uh, battery capacity. When I came over and plugged it in, it said 0%, and I held the up arrow for about, I don't know, a few seconds, and it beeped, and it went back to normal like this. I don't know, I'm, I'm completely confused as to why it stopped working and why it's working again now. But um, I guess I'll keep an eye on it. If it, if it does this again, this thing is, is out of here. Eight hours later. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with Renogy. All I did was unplug everything, roll my battery bank back over to the bench so I could uh, work on it later this evening, which is now evening. And I reattached this long cord that runs to the monitor. And here we go. 0% capacity. So what I did last time 
was push the up arrow and hold it for three seconds. And that supposedly resets the system. And zero point zero. It's not working now. It's still, it's telling me zero capacity. Somehow I have 99 hours and 59 minutes of battery life, I guess. I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. This battery bank is fully charged. Here's my Nako charger. That's got a full charge on it and it's plugged in right now and trickling from the wall. And the monitor is reading it as zero capacity. So this thing's coming out of here, I'm done. All right, I think I might have found something here. I think this clip is bad. If I slide this clip into the female adapter, this one here, real slow and gentle, um, <laughs> that's what she said. Watch this. See that? 100%. 100%. And now, yeah, and now it goes back down to zero. I think it's a bad clip. I think it's a bad connection. Wait a minute. Who are you? Take a quick look at the lower left corner of this startup screen when I unplug it. You see that? It says... 350 amps. I'm not sure if any of us can see what all this is supposed to mean. Supposed to mean? <laughs> I think everyone here knows what this is supposed to mean. Why does it say 350 on the startup? Ready? Why the fuck you lying? And 500 lying? on the back? Why you always lying? <laughs> So I've had a good night's sleep and a chance to clear my, my grumpiness about this whole situation. And I know this video is coming off as kind of a hit job on Renogy. And maybe there is a perfectly good explanation for this, but uh, I want to be able to trust the equipment that I put on my Jeep. And I just don't, I don't trust this thing. Um, I think I'm going to move over to, uh, to a monitor from Maybe uh, Victron or Red Arc or one of the other companies out there.